Hello, I'm Don Gay, and I'm back with the latest edition of my picks for the best rides at Mesquite Rodeo. Now, last year we saw a good blend of some experienced cowboys that you've watched on these tapes in years past, plus some newcomers that you're sure to see again in the future. Add the high caliber of Mesquite livestock, and the results are outstanding. So let's get this show on the road with some great bull rides. Gavin James has said he's going to try to ride catnip, 66 the score to beat. Well, we saw Shane Yates win the bull ride on old catnip. This is a good one. Round to the right. Come on now. Get you out there. Yeah. Quit moving a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Better let go right quick. That's when you say, oh, feet don't fail me now. This should be a good score, Donnie. He has 77 points for Kevin James. Kevin could have loosened up. He rides a little bit too mechanical, but he's doing the mechanics right. He got tipped. He didn't panic. He just tries to keep his body square. Now just reach down with your left foot and get a better hold. You won't have that right there, Kevin. Get your hand out and just let go. Pasadena, Texas Cowboy. Now you need to tuck. All these young guys leave their chins up. Okay, looks good. Looking real good. Spurn with the outside foot. Moves over, no problem. Big Jake. Oh, look out. Oh. Ow. Notice that gate didn't move a bit. Tori, rough on that dismount, Donnie, but a good ride, 77 points. New leader, get one road, now they all want to ride him. <laughs> okay, now look at the horns on Big Jake. You know, if he runs over you, you'll look like a weenie on a stick. Okay, round the left, spurring with the outside foot. Now he gets in a little bit of a jam, and watch him move his butt back over to the left. Good, good little move right there. Not such a great get off. Gets smashed a little bit. That's Kelly Holt is up next, Donnie, on catnip. All right, now Kelly, been making the whistle here. He's finished second here once. Turning back to the right, right into his hand. Guess what he wants? Now there's a woman back behind, might be in the family. Come, <laughs> come on, she's getting a better ride than Kelly is. Okay, good dismount, nice bull ride. He might have hit the wrong place or hurt something. That ought to make him feel better. 77 points. Moves him into first place. Looks good. Lifting on that bull rope. Head down. In time. See how he's moving his body? He's just in time with that bull. Roger Pack, veteran bull rider. Been riding bulls 15, 16 years. Fairly consistent. Bull's going to spin left. Oh, yeah. Come on, Roger. Stay in there. See him move his feet. Good move. Yes. a boy, Roger. Keep hustling. Whoa. Rope slipped down. Got loose. Veteran move. Leaderboard change right there. And Roger's already won here once this season. Bull regard. Now, he's a, he's a money bull. Big old bull. 78 for Roger Pack. He takes the lead. Now, for all you young aspiring bull riders, see. Now, right here. Moves his butt back over there in position, spur on the outside foot. Whistle blows, but his rope slipped, and that was, you know, Derby, Kansas. It's a good bull right here. He usually turns back to the left. Oh, started left. Now he's going to come back the other way. Now it's left. Hang in there, Cowboy. Wow. Stay tight. That a boy up. I don't know. Judges have stopwatches. They'll tell us if it was exactly eight. A little short or a little long. It was awfully close from where we were sitting. Yes, they're going to give him a score. It's a good one. 78 points for Robert Dillard. Good effort, Kansas Cowboy. Drove a long way to come to Mesquite, Texas. Bearing down. Starts around left. Now he has to recover. That was a good move right there. Now Bull comes back left. Moving around. Just gets bucked off, but he rode him far enough. Good ride. Okay, now big can in a bull. This bull is going to really get big. He's already pretty big. Now, starts around to the left. Now back to the right. Dusty's in good shape. Nice bull ride. Yeah. Spurring a little bit. Good ride. This can make an impact on the leaderboard. Good looking ride. Gizmo leaves, and Dusty waits for a score. 
Flagman said, look pretty good to me. Let's see what the judges think. 79 points. Puts him into the lead. All right. First time I've seen Dusty Miranda ride. He did get a hold of those feet a little bit. Moves him good there. Good presence. Keeping his chin tucked. He's got the basics down. All right, now this is a good little old bull right here. He jumps out and spins to the left. He's just nice to ride. Okay, hang in there. Kind of rare and a little cowboy's got a good feet. Bear down, don't weaken, don't weaken, don't weaken. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Ooh. Get off left a little to be desired, but hey, who cares? Give him a check. He's uh, gasping for a little bit of air. Chip Northcutt on Beauregard. Trying to beat 74 points. Maybe this score will make him feel better, Donnie. 79. Okay, I think they forgot about Ronnie Kinsey right. in the first section. Now, see this bull? He's just nice to ride. Cowboy just sits in there, locked down. This is a good bull ride. Don't get me wrong. Good bull ride. It's just they, they just were real conservative with Ronnie in that first section. We're looking at the hand of Joe Wimberly from Cool, Texas. He's on Easy Rider. All right, got the hat pulled down. He's set. Left foot kind of pop, gets it back. Round to the right, into his hand. Good Joe Wimberly got a good Joe. bull ride started. Come on, Joe. Staying in there tight. Going to spur him a little bit. Now get off. Got his hand out of there. Looked real good. Now we'll have the leaderboard change. That guy right there, Joe Wimberly. He needed that. He's been up and down. Boy, 79 points. We all needed that. Joe Wimberly jumps into the lead. Good ride for Joe Wimberly. He wants to watch it back. Now, stay in square, shoulder square, left turn, right turn, get a hold. Now watch him with his right foot. Just kind of dig and spur, head down, eyes on the action, nice bull ride, good dismount. That's the way you do it. This is a good draw right here. Kevin's riding well. As good as he's ridden in the last five or six years. Just stay square. Don't take a fake, Kevin. You don't have to be in a hurry. There's a right. Now the left. Round and round. Into his hand. There you go. Burnley outside foot. Come on, Kevin. Now the boy. You there bet you. There you go. Get your dally. Step off and wait till next week to get your check. Oh, yeah. Now that was an excellent bull ride. The double vision. Well, I bet you have it when you step off after a spin like that. 80-point ride for Kevin James. Now, just watch his body. Free hand, square, round to the right. Now, back left, doesn't panic. Gets back square. Burn with the outside oh, foot, yeah. getting a hold. Gets his dally when the whistle blows, waiting on him to jump out of it. Isn't going to do that. Just kind of out the back door. Mark Babin. He, he bears down on his bull. Wouldn't surprise me to see him ride him. Let's get a good one. That's a ride. Oh, yeah. That old boy, Mark. See how tight he that? stayed. Look at his free hand. Now the other direction. Oh, pretty bull ride. Get him the money. Watch. Wow. Now watch Mark. Oh, he's not scared. He's just getting up there where he can see better. Okay. Down there, you don't have a ticket. Watch this. Look at here. Okay. I mean, whenever wow. you, if you're going to get the money, you can get it. 81. 81. Yes, sir. Turn it another flip. Woo. Okay. Round to the right. This is it. See his free hand. It keeps his shoulders square. Reminds you a little bit of Clint Bronger, if you didn't know the difference. Just moves around. Nice work. Excellent bull Jeez, ride. Wins. Great. One of my bull riding students, uh, might add. <laughs> And here he comes for the now follow I, did, up. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> yes. Ty Schaefer up next, Sundowner, the Bulls, 76 to score to beat. Ty's been one of the guys coming to the ranch on Wednesdays to ride Bulls out there, getting tuned up. Him and Dwayne Cooper round to the right, Sundowner. Come on, there Ty. There we go. Don't Ty, stay tight. Keep pumping. Go ahead. That right, our boy. Good effort. He got him. Give him the money, Ty. Okay. Oh, look out. Oh, uh, keep crawling, keep crawling. See how he gets up off of the ground. Good move, Ty Schaefer. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big, tough kid right there. Good attitude. Anthony Moore says, I've had about enough of this thing tonight. 82-point ride, Ty Schaefer. He said, let me see that again. 
All right. Body square, good posture. Round to the right. Has to get over there. Goes a little too far. Now he clinches. Now he has to move back in there. Good adjustment. Looked out. Got back square. Got a hold. Good, good ride, job. Ty Shaver. Looked just as good the second time. But now, we need to work on this get off a little bit. I mean, that's too good a target for sundown. <laughs> I mean, look at that target. Tim W is just right there. Good attitude. He has got Dakota. This is the bounty. It's about twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Let's bear down. Starting to the left. Here he comes. No, gonna go back the other way. To the right. Come wow. on, Brent. Oh, boy, go ahead. Stay down. Wow. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. Pump. <laughs> I think he wrote him. I oh, think he wrote him. Man. Yeah. He believes he did. Geez, I'd hate to be the one to tell him he didn't. <laughs> He's up there leading the cheers. All right. What did the judges say, Donnie? 89 points, yes. Get out the money. Oh, that's great. Let me on that horse. I want to ride him around the arena. While he's uh, remounting on the horse, let's watch this back. And now this bull is bucking. A lot of times it's all Ellie rode him, but he didn't buck. Well, he's bucking. they can't say that. Brent Buck, head down, pumping in there. That's just a lot of effort right there. You don't see that a whole lot in the 90s. That good cowboy try right there. Wow. 89-point ride, $12,000. Boy. What a deal. Brent is a nice guy and a good bull rider, and he made a fantastic ride to stay with Dakota. All right, let's go from one group of rodeos wild men to another. Next up, the bareback riders. The guys with the suitcase handle grips, the far away look in their eyes, and that wild spurring motion that makes a good bareback ride so exciting to watch. All right, this cowboy right here rides pretty good. He's got a, got a good style. He could be an NFR kind of cowboy here. Yeah, looks right good right there. And rolling. Body square, see what I'm talking about? Yes. Stay in square. There's your leader. Even these dead gummed old zebra judges, they'll know that. Look at here. Boy, 75 points for Lance. Giving him a hard time, C.E. Murray. Monty Elms, they know what they're doing. Good judges, both spurs in unison, back to the rigging, coming around. You bet you. That's a bareback rider right there. That's how you ride it. Rookie of the year in 1992. Twice he's won money. Mesquite, good draw. Half that. Round to the left. Bo had a little trouble getting old left to start it. Hanging kind of upside down. Needs to square up. Yep. Second generation cowboy. Good ride. I don't think it'll move Benny Joe or Brockway. Rockway still in the lead from last week with the 79. Benny Joe McCoy with the 78. And this is a score of 76 for Bo Mayo. Pretty tough bareback riding. Good for out. Now, while he's square, he looks pretty good. Now, see him tipping over yes. to the left. Now, this guy has won second here three times already this season. He wants a first place ride, and he can get it on this horse. Now, if he can just keep his body square, has a tendency to lay, lean left, but stay square. Look at here. High jump, spurs back. That horse is bucking pretty hard right there, coming around the circle. Didn't get near as good a spur ride as, as I was wanting. Probably not, you know, but the horse bucked a little bit harder than he normally does. Made it a little bit more difficult. I'm sure it surprised him a little bit. The crowd sure liked the ride. Let's see what the judges think about it. He's trying to beat 71 points. I believe he'll do that just because, yeah, yes. 76. Just because of the degree of difficulty for the horse, he didn't make any real mistakes. He keeps his feet up in the net. Kind of holds. You see the horse sling his head yes. and everything, kind of bouncing back. But he keeps his feet right up there in the money. That's why he's going to get it all. This man, Wes Ward, can move that 74 that's holding on to first place. He's on Dark Canyon. One here once before. He... Oh, Wes Ward, the bareback rider, got a nice horse. Look at his spur. Look at the toes out. Little horse, little cowboy, but it's a good match. Pretty ride. But the judges are looking for something just real, real nice. Wes Ward puts it up on slate for you. 77 points, Wes Ward takes the lead. 
on Dark Canyon. Trotting back, we'll get another look at it. Good spur out, there's what you do. Horse jump kick, square up. Both spurs coming, horse kicking every jump. West moving the spurs up to the rigging, good body position, that's first place. And good for the layback style of Bo Mayo on this horse, Donnie, trying to be 73. Well, you can see how tight that rigging is. He's won here once this season already, the rookie of the year two years ago. Come on now, watch this. The Mayo fall back and let it all hang out. Bo Mayo, get your money's worth right there. Oh, folks in the front row got a good look at it, that's for sure. Reach for John Patterson, step down. Let's give him the money, boys. That's one of those go anywhere and fit right in haircuts. I like it. Yes, sir. 77 points. Comes through when he has to. Let's take one more look at the ride. He lays all the way back, but he's still pulling his feet. He was laying back, and his feet were a little dead hanging down there. But now see how he finishes strong? Getting him away from the horse's neck, that just looked good. And we're going to start with Benny Joe McCoy, South Haven, Kansas, the 90 season champ here at Mesquite. Now, he knew wants to win the money. The Rabbit National Finals bucking horse. Blowed out, got back, stay in there. This horse is tough to ride. Come oh. on, Benny Joe, out of boy. You betcha. What a way to crank oh. him out of there. Oh, he said, I did it. He's a roadie. <laughs> What a way to start things out. You 78 bet. points, Benny Joe McCoy. That a boy wasn't pretty, but neither is Benny Joe. Okay, left foot come out, a little suspect on the spur out. Horse jumping, kicking, a lot of power right there. Good finish for Benny Joe. 78 points. Well, this is Ron. He pronounces that Lejay. He is from Church Point, Louisiana. He's on Mama Cass. Another cowboy that I really think got some good possibilities built to take the punishment of the bareback ride. Looking real good. Come on now. Reach up there and spur, Ronnie. Look good. The wilder it is, the better you can score. Horse race at the end. Look Whoa! out. Jim's horse kind of quit him a little bit. He's going, <laughs> well. But he got a 78 for the ride, Don. He puts him in the lead. Okay. Letting it all hang right there. Pulling them back. Left foot's trying to stay square. Horse kind of quits a little bit and then starts back. Whistle blows. There's your leader. Now, ooh. you know that if Chris is looking forward to him, the 91 season champ, he's tickled. He'll make a good ride. Check this out. Kick yes. It. Turning back. Both spurs in unison. Bear back riding right there. Good ride. Leaderboard change right here. That's, uh, you don't have to be a pro official to know that there's the best bareback ride so far. Oh, Flashy Frank putting on this show right in front of the judges, too. They had a great look at it. 79 points. He jumps into the lead. Well, we knew that the score was coming. It was going to be more than 71. We just didn't know how much. Good spur out. Horse kicking. Changes lead. Body square. Spurs working. 79 points, Chris Gay made a bareback ride. Pretty ride. One more look at this. Now, turning back, both spurs, he didn't just keep the left one going because it was easier. Everything looked good. Pretty ride. Good body style. Donnie, you think he's got a good shot on I really do. It's a nice bucking horse, John Brockway. Been in the top 25 in the bareback ride in the last four or five years. A new daddy, got a little youngster down there, got to buy some new shoes. Get them feet rolling, John. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jump yeah. Kick, turn, coming around the left. Now back down the wall. Now, there better be a change on that leaderboard now, Donnie. Well, I, you know, I don't think there's any question. Just kind of, I'm going to think, you know, Pretty easy. 79. 79 points, John Brockway. You know, when you have both spurs, horse being smooth, remember the 75, you can remember back to Red Horse, you know, he's going straight down the arena. This horse circling back around left. Now he makes a right turn. John never slows down with both feet. John Brockway is one of those veterans I mentioned earlier. He's been on every best rides tape I can remember. Guys like John make Mesquite such a great rodeo to watch. Now, after all those terrific bull and bareback rides, let's take a break with some of last season's lighter moments. 
Rick Carver getting backed into the box. Granbury, Texas Cowboy. Okay. Oh, you see that calf? Wild calf. Fresh hadn't been to the rodeo. Jumped the barrier. Now down there. No! Oh, oh, my! Boy, join the choir and sing soprano. Oh, please. Most. Ricky. This is not your fun night at the rodeo right here. This calf is kicking him every which way oh, but loose. Still now, you think this is easy. And those little bitty calves. Now, look, check this out. About 300 pounds of hamburger putting a new set of clothes on it. Get back on your heart and start this all over again. Yeah. Now, whoa! <laughs> hey, could be in a bull ride. Oh, I was going to say. Now, there's Catch. Now, he ain't expecting this right here. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Get up on your tiptoes here. <laughs> wow. Guy Yarborough out of Seagoville, Texas. All right. Good cowboy right here. Rope, steer wrestle. Slide him around. Slide him around. Okay, now this is when it helps to be one of those bigger guys. He just barely can get a wrinkle in his shirt. I've said that before. And he, but, but now he's going to have to admit. This steer's going, look at this. This guy won't let me go. That's well, a lot of cowboy try right there. I was right going to say, E for effort, absolutely. Good way to start us off as we look at Dustin Lara from Graham, Texas. Squaw Lady. It's a real nice saddle bronc right here. Now, we've seen Dustin in the bareback riding. Now, you got to stay back. The key is stay back. He's out of time. He's in trouble on this horse. He's, his feet are going back when they should be going forward. Ended up, uh, missed it by that much, 67 <laughs> points. Maxwell, that smart. Wow. <laughs> right on your back. Okay. Now, key to a horse like this, you got to handle your rein. Stick, turn your hand over and push your arm out on that rein to push your body back. Be able to get those spurs forward. That's just saddle bronc riding technique, and he's got a little bit to learn yet. This right here won't take you long to learn not to do that. Coming up next in the steer wrestling, Todd Anderson from Waco. All right, gets backed in that box. Kind of grins a little. Bump, job, ride, whoop, ride, reach, up, up. Oh, no. Don't you throw that dirt clock that steer. He's just out ready. Todd yeah. Anderson comes up with a no time. He took two shots up. He's gonna, that steer's going to go back to the pen going, man, y'all should have seen me. Okay, let's get another look at it. Reach out there. Horse widens out, and he just missed the right horn. I mean, he just got a little glitch there. Wasn't playing. Here comes Mike Goforth on Nirvana. Two times he's won second. This boy is starting to get some consistency. Now, this little bull here just wants to fight. Now, he's mad. He's hooked the dummy off the rope. Throws Mike off. It didn't do a thing going out there. Didn't do one thing. <laughs> just kind of bebopping. He'd have probably gotten a rear at it, you know, at 62 points. Ooh -ha. Chris Onstad liked to got him. He almost didn't get around the Frank McElvain's little bomb shelter. I'd say, hey, you get out of here. That, well, this Nirvana the, the came dummy out. dummy was hung up from the yeah. ceiling by a cable. And he snapped that off like it was a barrier string. <laughs> Frank said, hey, let's make some peace, brother. <laughs> Mike, he hadn't got off the bench yet. This now, bull heads straight for that dummy, buddy. I mean, he he doesn't, he, he's not thinking about bucking it. Watch this, then. Look here. Boom, it breaks the cable. Mike's thinking, man, that could be me. I'm glad I don't have a striped shirt on. <laughs> Watch the dummy go crashing down. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> That's when you say feet don't fail me now. Danny Snow is up next in the calf roping. Savoy, Texas, Donnie. Yep, Savoy, Texas. Danny Snow. Second generation cowboy. Okay, Cass says, okay, you got a fast horse, slow horse. Turns to the right, he makes the catch. Whoa! Oh. Way to go, Graceful. Come on, Danny, look out! <laughs> I mean, oh. that 
cast going up your nose with a rubber hose. <laughs> I'll run over you like a train of tracks. Okay, now get him down. Let's see if we can't make this tie here. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, footprints across Texas. <laughs> Well, that's worth another look, I would say. <laughs> Get back on his horse. Now, if we give the calf a rope, Danny Snow could be in big trouble. Now, the calf says, okay, I'm going to wait. Nice catch. Now, Danny goes, now, what's this calf doing? Well, okay, I'll get off and go time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look out behind you. <laughs> oh, you ever walked out in the intersection and know when you stepped out there that you made a boo-boo? Okay, now we'll turn from the funny side of rodeo to the classic, saddle bronc riding. First up, Wade Hebb, another veteran mesquite rider and a former season champion. This is Wade Hebb from Kaufman, Texas, Miles City. Two times, horse. two times he's won here this year. 92 season champ. Good bucking horse right here, national finals horse. Come on, Wade. Wade snapping his feet. Get him up. Come on, get over the point. Get that left one same way as the right one. He finished pretty strong, Donnie, right in front of the judges. And your dad, keeping a good eye on him. <laughs> yeah, Yarbrough getting a little bit of a workout. He's uh, joined in the picking up duties also. 76 for Wade Hebb. Good spur out. Horse kind of jerked him back. And the right foot's doing real well. Over the shoulders, left foot a little short. See it? You see the difference? Right there, that cost him a couple of points. Real good boy right here. Broke his leg, I mean smooth off at San Angelo, Texas. Three months off, been on one horse, got a national finals bucking horse. Let's watch this kid ride. There it is. He yeah. said, hey, my leg's still there, it works. Look here, turn my toes out, get the money. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Just almost a crash right there on the get off. <laughs> well, let's see, it should have limped. Eh, yeah, not much. I love that name, Colt Dowdy, a 76 point ride. Okay, now he'll quit limping as much. He heard that score. He's feeling better already. <laughs> Good spur out. See him snap his feet. That's what I like about this bronc rider. See him? Really looks good. Spurred over his rein, toes out. It's a good bronc ride. All right. He's drawing rim rock here. This, this is a good horse, a, really a good one for Tom. He'll change the leaderboard if something really unusual. See the spur out, how solid that looks. Check the spur. That reminds you of days of Hawkeye. There is a difference. Pretty ride just now, just waits to see how much the judges want to score him. Sets down easy. That's why we call it the classic event. That looks smooth and easy. Looks good. Let's see what the judges think about it, Donnie. He's trying to beat 74, and yes, he does, with a 76 for Tom Reeves. Didn't just throw a lot of points at him, 76 points. Good spur out, toes out. See how far forward he's getting his spurs. Horse kicking every jump. Good bronc ride right there. Mr. Eric Totten starting us off in the saddle bump riding on Winnemucca. All right, the 91 season champ, national finals bucking horse. This is shows you why jump kick looking good. That a boy, that Eric, away, reaching Eric. Spur, What a way to start it out. All right, rescue team in coming in there right now. Jim Gay sets him down. Winnemucca. Well, that was a nice looking ride. You bet. 76 points for Eric Totten. I'm glad you know that the judges saw what we saw for a change. Good spur out. Now watch this, jump kick. Doing good. Snappy, feet forward, looking real well. That's what you like. That's about as good a reason as any, because up there in Cody, Wyoming, snow can get mighty deep. Been cold in a hurry. He's on Squall 80, trying to beat 74 points. Now he rode this horse once last year. Oh yeah, look at here. He's got the confidence. He said, man, it's too cold to build fence. Give me the money in the broad ride. Toes out. Classic saddle broad ride. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looked good. Billy Farmer. I look at him grinning. He said, hey, mama, don't get too cold up there. I'll be back this spring. Bob tells him <laughs> good ride, and he could be home shoveling snow. 78 points for Billy Farmer. 
That's great. Great bump ride. People in the grandstands, they, they, they know and appreciate it. Now, waiting on us. Now, there's the spur out. Body position is back. Now, lift on the rein, both toes over the shoulders, toes out, set your feet. Oh, yes. Very, very pretty bronc ride. There's your, there's your man. Still holding on to first as we look at Tom Brown from Big Lake, Texas, Indian Nation. The best score has been a 63. This is a nice bronc right here. Get this, look here. Oh, yeah. Isn't this pretty? Toes out. Coming around. Reach. Look at that horse. Oh, boy. Good ride. Best ride Tom, Tom Brown's made here in a couple of years. Good ride. He's a money rider. Oh, he's talking about yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Eight points. Talking to John Brockway. <laughs> he said, John, man, did you see that oh, right there? Go. Boy, I really rode good. I mean, you can see some of the best rides, and by the time they tell that story, you thought they rode 12 horses. Okay. I've done the same thing myself. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Good bronc ride to Tommy Brown. This is Joe Belcom on Crazy Snip. Yeah, Joe's got one of those kind of horses that you like to draw because he's smooth, gives you a chance to turn your toes out, make that classic cornerstone bronc ride. Toes out, body position, jump and kick. Now, anybody can tell that that horse wasn't as hard to ride as the last one. Right. But they're looking at the Spurs. Whether that's right or wrong, I'm not going to debate it. But hey, watch the score. Look. 78 points for Joe Belkin. See, I, I disagree with that myself personally, but that's the way it's done. And Joe, he's trying to get everything going. He knows if he can keep his feet moving, keep the judges watching him instead of the horse, it's going to help. Body position kind of moving around. A good job by Joe Belkin. Charles Swallow out of Stephenville, Henry Plummer. Oh, outlaw bronc right here. Charles Swallow, good bronc rider. Rides bulls good. See him turn his hand over. Pressure on the rein. Reach it spur. Coming around. Right in front of the judges. Toes out. Oh. Snappy feet. Good bronc ride. This horse is pretty hard to ride. Charles Swallow made it look pretty easy. He's trying to beat 78 points, Donnie. Charles Swallow. Let's see if the judge 79 points. He's our new leader. I want to watch this back because I don't know. I want to watch left foot. Left foot holes right there. He's pulled sneaky on him. DJ Kenny is on Doc Holiday. Three men have 71 point scores. We'll see what TJ can do. This horse right here is another ranch raised bucking horse, and I like it. TJ, bucking horse country. Oh, yeah. Come on, TJ. Look at that horse kick. In time, toes out, body position good. Yes. Flying dismount. No. <laughs> well, sort of. That a boy, TJ. That'll be a leader change right there. If it's not, we'll just throw snow cone. 79, T.J. Kenny takes the lead. Well, it's summertime. It's hot out there now. It is I mean, hot in Mesquite. Hot. It's hot. T.J. Kenny, he's kind of hot, too. And watch his horse. See him kick. Doesn't weaken. Good camera angle right here. A lot of effort. Good bronc ride. <laughs> Work on the dismount a little bit, but hey, other than that, they, they pay on the ride. Jason Milam, he's going now on Tumbleweed, trying to beat 70 points. This could be good. Nice horse, good timing, yeah, looking yeah. real good. Come on, Jason, turn toes out. Yes, pretty oh. ride. Okay, leaderboard, look out. John Patterson helps him down to the ground. Boy, that just looked good. Jason Milam and Tumbleweed. Let's see what the judges think about it, Donnie. Is it going to move that 70 by how much? I guess is all we need. 80 point right. <laughs> yes, it moves it. Pretty obvious. Horse stalled a little bit. Jason says, come on now, let's go, Tumbleweed. Toes out, jump kick, body position in good shape. Doesn't weaken at the wall. See him keep reaching. Toes out, getting good drag. Let's it's get just one. a... Pretty, One more look here. Pretty event, Donnie, when somebody is smooth like that. Just nice. 
That looks good. All the way through. Boy. Pretty right. This guy's a cowboy. Southland, Wyoming. Living in Texas now. Come on, Gary, ride this fucking horse. Watch this horse go to drop it. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary, keep reaching. Keep reaching. Blind dismount. Leaderboard change the whole nine yards. Left foot doing a little better than the right foot. I was going to say, Donnie, 83 points. Wow. I'm going to show my ignorance because that right foot wasn't doing a whole lot. Remember which way that horse is circling. Yeah. Out there deep middle. Right. The right side judge is not going to be able to see that. This veteran move right here. Watch this. Good spur out. Judge is following, trying to see. See the right foot held? Now, the judge has given up by now and watching the left side. All right, so far we've watched some terrific rides in all three rough stock events, bull riding, bareback, and saddle bronc riding. And our next section deals with a complete ride followed by an incomplete dismount. This one is the one I call it ain't over till it's over. This guy's got a good attitude. You see Robbie Vaccaro helping Kirby get ready. Hearst, Texas Cowboy over by Fort Worth. National Finals bucket horse. Come on, Kirby. Hang in there. Stay in square. That looks good. Come on, yes, Kirby. It does. Keep bird. Keep bird. Keep bird. It's close. Look at the back of his hat. Woo. He said, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, give me the money. 73-point ride for Kirby. Wow. Watch again. All right. Good spur out. Close on the whistle. See him staying square. That looked good. Jerked him back off his rigging right there. That's what caused a little bit of the problem right at the whistle. Starts us off with the 72 as we move now to Corey Brown from Garland, Texas. He is on Tim Buck 2. Okay, now this guy right here, he's won once this season already. He can ride. Been injured a little bit. I think he's going to be a national finals bareback rider. Tim Buck 2, one of those young colts. Kind of going down the pin, hard to ride, get your hand out and get on the ground. <laughs> 71 for Corey Brown and a long walk back to the other end of the arena. It's good enough for second place so far. Well, I kind of thought there ought to be a little more disparity between Chad and, and Corey, although I really like Corey starts out real well. Horse is bucking pretty hard right at first. Now he goes to traveling. Corey gets to sloshing, but that's that's more the horse than it is Corey. But check this get off. Just a little bit difficult. Move on to the man from Bishop, Texas, Vidal Conda. Did I get that right, Donnie? Vidal, Vidal Conde. All right. They call him Vidal. Wow. Pretty good little turn. Right? Whoa! <laughs> he likes it. Well, he gets a score of 70 points and takes the lead. All right. Edel Condi and Tylenol. Edel needs a little Tylenol after that dismount. Now, watch this turn. Pretty good turn right here. Whistle blows. Blow out. Double back flip. Mm. Get you another look at that. So you want to be a bareback rider? Now, he's a, he's a rodeo promoter. We move now to Gary Motes, and he has drawn Utah. This horse used to be John Patterson's pickup horse. He could go to the national final. Strong horse, Gary Motes, riding well. Good move, taking a kind of a beating, a little soft with the right foot. But now, oh, no, no, get back on there, Gary. Get your hand out. Look at Jim and John. Look at Jim pulling wow. his hand out of there. John pushing him back up. Jeez. I mean, hey, you want to be a bareback rider? Jim Gay and John Patterson. Now, the lights are on, but nobody's home just yet, Gary. Hang Whoa, on a minute. Somebody got to lead him back. By. He is addled. He's addled. He, he hit the ground awfully hard. He's going to be okay. That's just to beat Dale Falkenberry. Now, he might not be okay. You know, everything looks pretty good right here. It's real aggressive. Now, you see his hand is wedged, and he's trying to get it out. Now, you see Jim reach. Now, look at John Patterson. John. He picked him up from the inside, probably got kicked. Now, the horse grazed him right on the chin with a front foot. Let's watch this back. When he goes to the ground, watch the bucking horse front foot. Shakes off the cobwebs, and we move to Scott Lejeune. 
He is from Louisiana, Church Point, Louisiana, and he is on Spook. This cowboy can ride pretty good. It's a good draw ride here. He usually circles around to the left. There's the spur out. Scotty, right foot kind of going down. Spook not coming around to the left, just kind of trailing off. Not a good trip for the horse. Scotty does what he can do. Whoa! Whoa. Get your hand out. The pickup men were coming, but he said, I've had enough of this. It's a score of 63 and a round of applause from the audience here. It's a good thing that hand popped out there at the end. Take another look at the ride. All right, there's the spur out. Now the horse starts the buck and is headed toward the left and then just decides, nah, I'm going to go this other way. Just kind of gives it up. Now watch this turn. Wow. He said, I'm not supposed to be down here. Go back the other way. Donnie, we need a qualified ride. Maybe it's coming from Booger Brooks on Terminator. I like this little bull right here. Now, he's plumb mean, but he's going to be a good one. There's a left turn. out of boy, Booger. Oh, yeah. Now, reverse. Reach forward. Ooh. Oh, get up, Booger. Ow, oh, a little shot to shorts right there. Ouch. <laughs> Holy smoke. Wow, and it was awfully close to the whistle. We'll see. They are going to give him a score. And a new pair of britches, I believe. 73 points, Booger Brooks. Boy, oh boy. I mean, you know, you don't go to the rodeo expecting to get a free enema. Holy cow. Now, good ride. Reach forward. Watch this. Terminator yes. Says, he said, oh, Booger, I wouldn't have done that, but it was too good a target. One more look at this. Got a hope. Forward. Now, look at that target. Hey, Terminator, we understand. <laughs> look at Mike Gofor from Hazel, Texas. Bobo, the bull. All right, now, he's 0 for 2, Mike is. It's a good little young bull right here. Let's see. Should spin to the right. Nope, he's going to go to the left. Oh, good turn. That a boy. Stay there. Right in the middle. Body back. Oh, yeah, pretty right. Uh oh, uh oh, Get now he'll pull a horn in on your business, Mike. His hand's hung. Oh, my. Bullfighter's moving in right quick. He's up and out of there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Mike Goforth, good ride, 75 points. Barry Hankins, Anthony Moore, move in, make the save. Mike's going, thanks, guys. Thank thanks, guys. You. <laughs> you know, chicken fried steak. That's what I'll buy you. Nice little ride right here. See his left foot? It bounces out around the left. Good body position. See his shoulders, how square they are? He's uh, doing a little too much with his free hand. And he let it drop down there. Now, now his rope has slipped across, and his hand is hung in that rope. And he's lucky he doesn't get hurt. Anthony Moore, Barry Hankins really did a good job. Oh, I'm sure Mike will work on that dismount for this upcoming season. Up next, the top performances from the other end of the arena, the timed events. First are the steer wrestlers. Good steer wrestlers. Best time has been a four and eight. That'll stand good stead right here. Got a good steer drawn, black and white spot. Pull him around. Come on, Randy. Whoa, out of boy. Yeah. Yeah, he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good guy, Randy Staley. Time. Four and seven. Excellent run. Push the barrier out of the way, down on the catch. Bring him around. Shaped him perfect. Airplane him. Out of our Randy. Doug thinking about that as Big Byron Walker getting set to go, shooting at five and nine. Okay, this guy, all he does is, uh, like Al Davis says, just win, baby. Okay, reach down. Long reach, good catch. There it Byron. is. There it is. Champion of the world, three-time mesquite season champion, 4.6, Dan. Boy, jumps all over the lead. Let's take one more look. He did reach a long way here, Donnie. And the gray horse kind of hung him a little bit, hung him out there to dry. He just went ahead and let go, made a nice recovery and a good run. Joey Allman getting set next out of Palmer, Texas. Here we go. Gets a lot of instruction from Byron Walker. Pull him around. Come on, Joey. Yeah. Airplane. Well, whatever Byron said to him worked. Look at the time, four and three. Byron better practice his preaching the last couple of times. Had a little trouble. This is a good run right here. Good start. Nice catch. Nose timing. Everything looks so good. Easy when it's done right. 
It is a full-time occupation, Donnie. Well, it really is. Two times he's won the Linderman Award. He can ride bucking horses, bulls, steer wrestle, calf rope. Guys, an all-around hand. Come on, Marty! And he can steer wrestle. Look at that. He was trying to beat four and eight-tenths seconds, and he does that, Donnie Gay. The crowd shows their approval. 4.3. Made a nice run. He won the start right there. Boom! Now reach out there and watch him make up the time. He just goes ahead and goes from the ground up and puts that steer down. Next, the calf ropers. All right, now Bubba been going to some rodeos in South Texas. He can rope. He's got real fast hands. It's a good catch. He got a great start. If he didn't come too soon, come on, Bubba. Gets him down. One, two. There it is. Goodness. Look at this time, Donnie. He was trying to beat 10 and 9, and he does that. The crowd shows their approval. It's 8 and 7. Okay, and I want you to watch the barrier. Watch the barrier. Right on it. Mm. Throws a rope almost simultaneously. Has a little trouble right here. Gets him down to the ground. Little short-legged Brangus calf. All right, back in the box right there. Pig and string in his mouth. That's what you make the tie with. Larry rope. There's the barrier, got a good start. Oh, a nice, nice cat, nice. nice cat. Down there, not a big guy at all, look at here. Check it out, he's in a hurry. Wow. Looked like he just took two wraps around there, didn't well, it, Donnie? I think he did. Eight and five is the time for Sammy Webb. Trying to get back on his horse when he rides forward to give the calf a chance to break free in that six second time period. We'll go back and take a look at it. Perfect start on the barrier. Boy, that's a little great. bit of a, kind of a side yes, arm it was. throw. Looked like, looked like this kind of at the practice pen. Little bitty guy, calf's bigger than he is. Bud Ford getting set next. He's from Grandview, Texas. All right, good calf rope right here. This is this guy. I expect to see this boy at the national finals one of these days. Down the rope. Oh, good shape. Come on, buddy. Bring it up. One, two. There it is. There you bet. You go. But four. Look at the time. Eight and four. Nice run. Might have to get him a ladder to get on his horse. Right on the barrier. Nice catch. Oh, perfect timing. One, two, three wraps, no shortcut, and 8.4. Jim Geese going to start us off in the calf roping. All right, now he finished second here once before. Calf roping is the hardest event to win money at. Now, you see, you got a lot of variables. You've got the pig and string in the mouth. you got to rope the calf. Time down. Get your hands up in the air. Good run. What a way to start it. Blaze it. Look at this time for Jimmy as he starts us off here, Donnie, in a time of 8. Point four seconds. Okay, working behind the barrier. Calf releases it. Boom. Ropes him right there. Beautiful. Looking good. Great. Steps down off the right side. Saving time. Down. Lay the calf down. String the front leg. Bring the back two up. One, two, three wraps. A half hitch. Get him up. What a smooth professional run. We've got a who's who of calf ropers starting out with Joe Beaver. Five-time world champion. I mean, this guy can do it all. Eight times to the national finals. Finished first last year with $122,000 on that barrier and a quick catch. All right, Joe and Joe, smoking Joe Beaver. Now, okay, watch him bring him up. One, two, three, there it is. Ooh. I'm talking about it. Fast hands, Joe Beaver. And his horse didn't even work very good. You see him saying, all right now, Sarley, you're supposed to watch that cat. Easy, easy. The time is eight and four. Watch him throw this rope with authority. Donnie. Look at the barrier. Now, that's just... Practice, practice, practice. The toughest event in rodeo to win at is calf roping. It takes you working with your horse. What a Whoa. tie. You don't do that just saying, hey, I'm going to tie a calf down. That takes a lot of work. Now the barrel racers. Now she's finished second here once with a 1592. Old thoroughbred black can haul the mail. Look here. Turn number two, a little bit wide. She's staying out of the ruts. The ground's getting a little deeper. Good move for her. Come on, Joanne, down the pike. Beautiful. Look at here. Oh, yeah. What's her been her best time? 1592. She does it again. Deborah Mohan, Gladewater, Texas, reserve world champion, eight times to the national finals. No Brown's working good. Yes. Nearly got into that second barrel, and he moved off on his own volition right there. Looked really good. Oh, nice. Come on, Deb. Home stretch. She's trying to beat 15.98. Let's see the time. 15.91 for Deb Mohan. 
Now, I want you to watch the horse she's riding. It's just, just a young horse. She took to a futurity about two months ago and won $50,000. Now, Kate Landford has been to the national finals. Great horse trainer. Husband Bob Blanford, the national finals bull rider, rodeo and family, and she has got a blazing run going. Doesn't this little horse could cover the ground. She's first up and getting across it. Oh, and quiet in the saddle. She comes across there. Look at the time to start us off here. This little horse can cover some ground. Bay horse makes a good move. First and second barrel. See how he drives out of the barrel. That's real important, getting yeah. in and out of the rut, moving along, coming straight down the line. Oh, Donnie Gay, look at this time. The arena record was 1571. This is 1566, a new arena record. This is Kelly Moss. Montalba, Texas cowgirl right here. Chin guards, old ball, he must have run into the barrels every now and then. Long stride, good looking horse. Look at the muscles on the horse. Drive. Swings out a little wide on that third barrel. The time, however, very good. 15.64. Whoo, smoking runs in all three timed events last season at Mesquite. Now let's go back now for some more of the lighter moments from last year. Michael Woodruff, that's whose hand you're looking at right there. The name of the bull is Andy Cap. Okay, now this bull kind of reaching back, hooking at him. This is a good bull. He said, let's go. Whoa, wow. my, look out. Oh. Goodness. <laughs> now you talk about a blowout. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. <laughs> There's another hat. I mean, the hat business, if you're in the hat selling business, you can do well around rodeo. Okay, another look at this. Boy, you can see that coming. Boom. That's about 1,800 pounds. There's the blowout. That's kind of funny, but his leg, that's not funny. No. That's underneath. About 1,800 pounds right there. Wow. Charlie Bailey is our next cowboy, walks on Hatchie, Texas. I love to drive down the interstate and hear the guys from New York. Yep, pulling in the Waxahachie. Oh, Waxahachie. Come on, Charlie, reach down, pull the, uh-oh. Charlie. Feet are in the wrong spot. Get him, put your hat back on. You're going too fast. Okay, pull that steer around. Let's lay him down. Here we go. Come on, Charlie. Ooh, well. Is that the, is that the new, new dance walking my baby back home? Charlie, you're getting taller. You're growing out of your hair. Okay. Pretty good catch, but the range of pores here. He's gonna have... Boy, to his credit, he held on. I mean, he's a hanging on for dear life. I guess I better quit making fun of his hair, dude. This is Marsha Stilley. Good looking, gray heart. Wow. Just. Great transit for a five-second penalty. Make it two. Okay. Now, how much talent do we have? Yes, a bunch. And she gets all three a clean sweep. Next man up from Henrietta, Texas. This is Scott Meeks. All right. Mounted up on his Palomina quarter horse. Pig and string in the mouth. Larry it back behind the barrier. Good start. Good cut. All right, down the rope, a little late. Cap beats him. Oh, the clothesline line trick. Come on, Scott, get up. Okay, now. Well, going to how much do you want me to back up? We're going to be in Fort Worth for long. Wait a minute. And this calf's going to tie Scott down. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Reinforcements. Come help. Scott Meeks gets in no time, man. Well, from the time he got off his horse, it kind of got bad and tapered off. I mean, you know, when it rains, it pours, and we can tell from right here, from this point on, it begins to go downhill, so to speak, downhill. <laughs> You're looking at Joseph Rodriguez, and he has drawn Saskatoon. All right, pretty good saddle bronc right here. No, Joseph, he's got to have some fast feed, old Saskatoon. A little tough to twist. Got a quick jump, hop, and skip. Look like jerked some rain out of his hand. Yeah. Whoa, look out. Uh oh, yeah, he, he's declared. He's hollering for help. Whoa, we'll help. Oh. Ah, right in the back. Oh. No score for Joseph. 
The yeah, folks in the front row got a good view. I don't know whose eyes are bigger, Joseph, or that lady on the front row would have watched that back. Now, good spur out. Jump kick. See the horse put his head down, jerked some rain out of his hand. Got a little tall in the saddle, looked like Gary Cooper there for a minute. Round to the fence. Now, look at that. Look at that lady. Oh! <laughs> you don't have a ticket. Get out of here. You want to you wanna do this nice and easy, as Tina Turner say. <laughs> Doug Blam going to start us off on Glitter Gulch. Kind of a tough little horse here. Got stage frights. Oh, oh, okay. Going to shake his head a little. Oh, Keen, Oklahoma cowboy Doug Blame. Reach out there. Get some snaps to your feet, Doug. Whoa, oh, in the Doug. front row. Get him out of there. You don't have a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doug. That was going so well up to that point, Bonnie. Well, he was just kind of waiting on that fence. He should have been snapping those feet, getting them ahead. That little kid got in his mama's lap and said, Mom, where'd that guy come from? <laughs> Maybe the second row next time we come. No score for Doug. Let's take one more look at this. Okay. Now, let her go. Jump and kick. Good bronc. Now, he's got to be snapping those feet. See, he's late. Get him up now. Oh, my goodness. Look at that little boy going, Mom, get, get him out of here. He, <laughs> sit down, down in front. Down in front. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Folks, that's going to wrap up this 1994 edition of Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and if so, you might also want to order my 1994 Worst Rex at Mesquite Rodeo video. Order Don Gay's 1994 Worst Rex at Mesquite Rodeo now. It has almost one full hour of rodeo excitement. Send a check or money order for $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas 75149. Or call 1-800-331-1000 for Visa or MasterCard orders. Please specify 1994 Worst Rex. Sorry, no CODs. I also have other rodeo videos you might enjoy. Dan will tell you how to order a list of the available tapes next. Well, that's it for now. Keep watching the Mesquite Championship Rodeo. And remember, if you're ever in Mesquite, come out and see a rodeo in person. You'll have a great time, I guarantee it. Happy trails. If you enjoyed this tape and would like to see more exciting rodeo action, write to Rodeo Tapes, Post Office Box 148 400, Nashville, Tennessee, 37214. Enclose a self-addressed stamped envelope and we'll send you a list of all the available rodeo highlight tapes Don Gay has assembled over the years. And these videos are full of the thrills and spills that make professional rodeo one of the most popular sports on television. Order one today and please remember to enclose a self-addressed stamped envelope.